Hi, I'm Professor Rolf Pendal, and I'm here to introduce you to my spring semester course, Equitable Land Use. We meet from 9.30 to 10.50 on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Equitable Land Use is part of a national collaborative class called Zoning for Equity. Apart from Illinois, the collaborators include planning professors and students from Ohio State, Florida State, UCLA, UNC Chapel Hill, Arizona State, Minnesota, and Texas A&M. The course has two sets of learning objectives. First, to understand and integrate the history of both exclusionary zoning in the United States and past efforts to change it. And second, to develop criteria for equitable zoning in practice, use those criteria to analyze zoning in Champaign-Urbana and recommend practices that could make zoning more equitable here. We'll also use that experience to test the value and limitations of the National Zoning Atlas as a vehicle for equity. For the first set of learning objectives, we'll benefit from pre-recorded lectures by the collaborating faculty members who include many of the nation's leading experts on exclusionary zoning and zoning reform. Students will watch the lectures before class and will discuss them during class sessions. For the second set of learning objectives, we'll do work in Champaign-Urbana. The centerpiece of the project is work we'll do on the National Zoning Atlas. The atlas originated in Connecticut where exclusionary zoning has fostered the nation's highest level of racial segregation. For this Connecticut project, volunteers pitched in to create a standard set of protocols to reconcile local variations in definitions. Using these rules, they created the first, the first uh, geodatabase in the state to show that zoning bars multifamily housing in the great uh, majority of the state. Then the leaders of the, of the Connecticut project decided to take the project national. The National Zoning Atlas is a volunteer powered effort to create a single nationally consistent geodatabase of local zoning maps all reconciled so that the same category means the same thing as much as possible, regardless of what jurisdiction it's in. Exclusionary zoning is incredibly important and you can find it pretty much everywhere in the United States. At the same time, it's not the only problem with zoning. That's why our project will explore how well the National Atlas captures a broad range of zoning related inequities. Fortunately, this analysis doesn't have to start from scratch. That's because in 2019, the American Planning Association released the Planning for Equity Policy Guide, an overarching document calling for equity in all planning practice and policies. Since then, APA has been rolling out subject-specific equity policy guides. Um, and in the next year, APA will revise, debate, and adopt some version of its zoning policy guide. So for our first deliverable, students will dig into this draft APA equity uh, policy guide to develop uh, criteria that we can use to identify inequities and equities of zoning pretty much anywhere, including Champaign-Urbana. We'll use those criteria to assess how well the Atlas might uncover inequity um, and where it might fall short based on these standard protocols developed by the National Atlas creators. The Illinois Zoning Atlas is just getting underway. A team from CMAP is working on it for jurisdictions in Chicagoland, and another team based here at the University of Illinois is working on downstate jurisdictions. We'll join the downstate team. Students in the class will use national, uh, the national guidelines to match Champaign County's zoning ordinances and maps to the protocols in the National Atlas. If you already have GIS and data science skills, this will give you an excellent opportunity to put them to practical use. If you're new to GIS and data science, you'll have a chance to learn some basics and contribute in other ways to the Atlas. Either way, your work will help grow the Atlas. Our final projects will include two assessments. First, we'll develop a report for planners, decision makers, and advocacy organizations in Champaign-Urbana, highlighting the inequities revealed by our work on the Zoning Atlas. That assessment will also identify other inequities that might need to be identified and distressed, addressed. 
Second, we'll develop recommendations for the National Zoning Atlas team, building on our general analysis and local application that we think could build equity more effectively into their protocols. Over the course of the semester, we'll meet three times on Friday mornings with students from UNC Chapel Hill who will be co collaborating with us um, on the North Carolina Zoning Atlas, uh, working with Professor, uh, Professor Andrew Whittemore, who's one of my collaborators in the Zoning for Equity um, Federation. On those weeks, either the Tuesday or Thursday class will be canceled. So thanks for your interest. I look to, forward to seeing you in equitable land use in spring of 2023.